Hi everyone and thanks for joining me today. So today the topic is adversity and suffering. Words that we really don't want to hear or talk about, right? But let's be honest, through our life on this earth, all of us will work through or walk through adversity and suffering at some time. We'll all have a season of it. And I don't know about you, but during those times I can feel really alone. And I went to the Bible to see what it says about how to walk through these these um, times and I found all kinds of really cool stuff so I wanted to share it with you today I'm gonna start in 1st Peter chapter 5 verses 9 and 10 so it says stand firm against him which him is the enemy and be strong in your faith remember that your family of believers all over the world are going through the same kind of suffering you are well that tells me right there that I'm not alone in, at all and again that was just a lie from the enemy uh, people all over the world are going through something it might not be specific to what I'm going through in my life but everyone has trials and tribulations that they're walking through so how do we get through them I looked that up. So I found some scriptures in Romans. It's chapter 5, verses 3 and 4. So here's what it says. We can rejoice too. Rejoice? Okay. When we run into problems and trials, for we know that they help us develop endurance, and endurance develops strength of character, and character strengthens our confident hope for salvation. Rejoice? I'm gonna need to do some more research. So I did. I went to James chapter one, verses one and two, to see what he had to say. Dear brothers and sisters, when troubles of any kind come your way, Consider it an opportunity for great joy. There's that word again. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. There's that endurance word again. So let it grow, for when, you are, when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. And one more, and that is in 1 Peter. It's chapter 4, verses 12 through, 9, 12 through 19. Let's see. Dear friends, don't be surprised at the fiery trials you are going through, as if something were strange that were happening to you. Instead, be very glad, for these trials make you partners with Christ in his suffering, so that you will have the wonderful joy, joy, of seeing his glory when it is revealed to all the world. All right, so I read verses 12 through 13. Three times it says joy. So how do we walk through these, these struggles with joy? What do we do? Well, here's what I do. Sometimes when I'm going through some kind of struggle, I don't always want to or am in the state of mind to think to reach out to God. You know, sometimes I'm feeling some type of way. You know, like, what's up, God? I mean, really, you know what's going on here. Come on. So when I'm in that state, I turn on praise and worship music. That usually brings me to the state where I can talk to God. Maybe I am not to the point where I feel like I can pray, so I just have a conversation. And then I go to the Bible where I find peace and comfort in reading his living word. You know, you might not be like me and you can go straight to the Bible and find your peace and comfort like right away and see what the word says about your situation. I'm a little stubborn and a little hard headed. So that's usually the steps that I take to get to there. So, you know, when adversity hits, it kind of stops your whole world and you have to you know face it and walk through it and it's not always easy 
I was listening to a podcast um, by Dr. David Jeremiah the other day, and here's what he had to say. Don't let adversity define you. Just let it be a footnote. I really loved that. You know, the hidden purpose in adversity is we learn to lean more on God. And we give it all to God. There's always a reason that we go through the things that we go through. And that's because it strengthens us. When we come on the, on the other side of that adversity or of that suffering, of that trial, of that tribulation, we're stronger for it. You know, the storm came, but it didn't knock us down. We were still standing. And we're stronger than ever now. Don't give up. You can get through it. I'll see you back here next Saturday at 11 o'clock. Have a blessed week. Bye.